What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this awesome top out of handkerchiefs. Yes, handkerchiefs from Walmart that I bought for a dollar each. It took me four handkerchiefs to make this shirt and I think it turned out pretty awesome. It wasn't too long ago. I was at a show and I saw this lady that had this awesome top like it looked like it was a handkerchief print top and I'm sure that she bought hers at a store because it was really awesome I mean her top was super stellar and it just inspired me to maybe make my own top and I wanted to make it out of handkerchiefs because I wanted that challenge part of it but hers was so cute it was like flowy handkerchief material and it had like some fringe on it it was gorgeous so it inspired me to go buy some handkerchiefs and try to make something sort of similar I don't know <laughs> hers was gorgeous mine turned out nice I love it but hers was gorgeous so at any rate that's what we're gonna do in today's video so without further ado let's get into this okay, thing guys materials are in the description box below I've gone ahead and I've pinned that just the top part of the shirt so I just put one handkerchief in the front one in the back and they are turned inside out and then I just pinned to where I thought I would have enough room to get my head through the top of the shirt so now I'm working on the sides and I'm just gonna pin them a little ways up because I'm not exactly sure how much space I'm going to need for the sleeves because I want them to be like big oversized type sleeves. So I'm just gonna go up a little bit on the sides there to add enough structure to the top so that I can add the sleeves on. So I would take these parts that I've pinned together to the sewing machine and sew them together. Okay, now we are moving on to the sleeves. So what I've done here is I'm just gonna go ahead and fold the one of the handkerchiefs in half, and then I'm just going to pin it down one side to give me the inseam of my sleeve. Super easy, guys. I mean, this is really a very simple project. And for some reason, my handkerchiefs weren't lining up. As you can see, I'm playing around with it. I eventually figure it out and make it work. But I mean, these were dollar handkerchiefs from Walmart. So, I mean, you can't expect super high quality. And for some reason, they just would not even out for me. So I just had to uh, finagle them a little bit to make them work, but I eventually figured it out. Okay, so here they are sewn together, just one side sewn down, and they are ready to be attached, but before I end up attaching them, this is me showing you the top part and then the bottom part of how I'm going to attach them, but I ripped this off of the mannequin, and I just wanna show you, when you're lining up each side of the top part of the sleeve just fold it in half and then stick a pin in it so that each side will be evenly well as close as even as you can put together so you just stick a pin there and then when you get when you put it through your sewing machine you just stop at the pin and that shows you how um, big or the width of each side of the top so now we're going to attach the sleeve so I'm just going to pin the top part of the sleeve on and then the bottom part and then I'm going to work the pins through the middle. This just allows me to make sure that I am getting everything evenly dispersed throughout the top there. I always pin from the top and then I go down to the bottom and then work my way in the middle. Just seems to be what works the best for me to make everything even. So now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just put a pin at the top, a pin at the bottom, and then work through my middle. And the sleeve is gonna be pretty much ready to go after I sew it on, of course. So anytime I do these types of things, I always turn my project the right side out so that I can see how it's going to look. So here's me, I'm going to flip it right side out to see how it's gonna look before I sew it together. Because you don't wanna sew it together and it's not at all what you were thinking. So this is just something that I always do to make sure it looks good, so I'm gonna sew it on. Okay, 
there you go both sleeves are attached looking good we're looking like a shirt here i'm liking it a lot already but i do not like the neckline so what i'm going to do is take the shirt fold it in half and then i'm just going to cut like a v so i have a v neckline on each side of the shirt because so i was not a fan of it like the way that it looked right there so i'm going to go ahead and cut those down and i had debated whether or not i was going to hem them and i opted to leave it a raw edge because i thought that it looked better that way so you're going to see at the end how i stop it from fraying because it will fray being a raw edge and a handkerchief type material so i'll show you what i do to prevent that from happening okay so my sleeves didn't fit. So I'm showing you here that I'm going to end up hemming the sleeves so that they'll actually be the right length for my arms because it is a little too long. And as I have explained in my outro, well, I will explain in my outro and my um, when I model the top, I did this part, I don't know what I was thinking. I needed way more to be rolled up because this just was not um, the right length for me, even with me hemming it to this point. So I end up hemming it again and end up with this awesome cuff on the end. So it's super cool. Absolutely love it. And I'm not sure what happened here, but for some reason the footage where I attached the fringe is gone. But all I did was pin the fringe to the bottom of the shirt and then I sewed it on with my sewing machine and now I'm just cutting that bottom string that they have on the fringe so that it becomes fringe because it's not fringe yet. So I'm just cutting all of that off so that you can see that it's, you know, gonna be flowy, fringy bottom of the top. Now you don't have to sew this part on. If you find it easier, you can use some fabric glue and just attach it with the fabric glue of your choice around the bottom of the shirt because um, it's, I mean, it's a little bulky to put through your sewing machine, but in my opinion, if I can sew it, I would rather sew it on than glue it on. So I opted to sew mine, but you could absolutely use a fabric glue and it will work just fine for you as well. So I'm getting to the end here, finally cutting all of that bottom string off just as close as I can, you know, to um, the bottom so the fringe is as long as it can be and boom there you go you got a fringe top loving it looking good so as I said I'm going to add some fray stop to the top of the shirt there because I don't want it to fray I'm concerned about that because the type of material it is so I'm just taking a little brush and I'm just brushing it on to the top of the shirt there to stop the shirt from fraying and once that's on guys, guess what? Yep, the shirt is done. That's how easy it is, so simple. So there you go guys. I felt like that was a super easy project because when you think about it, I just took two handkerchiefs, one for the front, one for the back, and that ended up being like the body of the shirt. Then I took the other two and I just simply folded them in half and sewed them down one side to make the sleeves and then I attached them on. You have a shirt. Pretty simple, right? I mean, it wasn't that hard to do. The only thing that I struggled with the most with this project was the sleeves. I mean, I altered them once and I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> it did because they were clearly way off. So then I altered them again and then it ended up being awesome that I made that mistake because I had this awesome cuff when I was done. So I was like, wow, this turned out pretty cool. I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is. So sometimes your mistakes can be an awesome feature on your clothes. So pretty awesome, right? <laughs> Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, like, share, do all of those things to help other people find this channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to check this out, and I'll catch you next time. Bye! Okay, guys, I have to do this a little bit different because it is absolutely freezing where I live. I mean, it is just freezing. So I'm not going to do my terrible modeling outside, and I really don't have a space big enough for me to do terrible modeling inside right now. I'm going to try to figure that out when I have some pay time off here the next few weeks, and maybe I can figure something else out um, as far as that goes because I really do want, want to do a lookbook for you guys. So at any rate, here's the shirt. Woo! It turned out so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I am so sorry that it is wrinkled like beyond belief because I just got home from work and like I said, it's freezing here. So, you know, I did iron it this morning, but you can't tell because um, 
the coat ruined the whole aesthetic of the shirt. So it is wrinkled now, but I absolutely love how it turned out. Now I decided after I, you know, sewed the sleeves where they were supposed to be, I decided to take them in a little bit more because I was going for this puffy effect and I love how it turned out. So it's kind of puffed up here. And um, as far as the cuffs go, I think I explained this in the outro. I did hem them so that they, well, I hemmed them to where I thought they should be to fit my arm and then realized I didn't hem them enough. So I hemmed them again and then I got this really cool effect on like a cuff look on the sleeve. I love how it turned out. So I left it that way. So absolutely gorgeous. I just ironed it down so that it would stay down. I did not stitch this top part down. I don't feel that it needs it. So yeah, this is the shirt. I absolutely love it. The big billowy sleeves and you can't really read the the fringe is not reading but the fringe is here um on the bottom but because i have this black skirt on with it it actually looks really fire with the skirt but that's only if you're in person i don't feel that it's reading on the camera uh, from what i can see right now but the fringe is here it's gorgeous i absolutely love the way that it turned out and i hope that this inspires you to make something really cool out of handkerchiefs yourselves so that's it <laughs>